all right um welcome back to my youtube channel at uh, illumination hub ng uh, kindly click on the subscription button and click on the notification bell so that you can um, have access to any of the video i'm going to be dropping later so please don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel so that you can have updates on any new video i'll be dropping later now um from the last class that we had online so uh, from the last video i posted uh we discussed um, how to apportion overhead cost using the algebra called the simultaneous equation method so um right now we want to prepare uh the cost allocation or apportionment slash apportionment uh, sheets and uh, here we are going to be allocating and apportioning the cost that we were given in the question because we have some direct costs which are the allocation costs directly to the production department as well as overhead cost which is those costs from the service unit or service department or service centers okay so um what we are simply doing is that the the life you look at watch the last video i made um i explained uh, how to apportion uh, the cost using the uh, simultaneous equation method because the service cost also share uh, some of the cost incurred by uh, the individual service cost centers okay uh, service cost one has a share in the cost of service cost center two uh, service cost center two also have a share in service cost center one as you can see in the equation here as you can see in this equation, service cost center uh, one shares 30% of the costs incurred in service cost center two. Likewise, service cost center two also shares 20% of the cost of service cost center one. So, meaning that when you look at this uh, cost here, this was the initial cost incurred by service cost center one plus the 30%. Okay? Which we add up to the total cost incurred by service cost, uh, total cost attributed to service cost center one. Likewise, uh, the total cost incurred by service cost center two is 300 and it also shares 20% of the cost of service cost center one, meaning that this 300 will increase plus the cost incurred from service cost center one. So we've been able to get that, we've been able to get 309 which is the total cost incurred or attributed to service cost center one and 363 to service cost center two now that we know from the question we're told that uh service cost center one 30 percent of the service cost of center one will be shared by production center a that's 30 percent and production center uh b we also have 50 percent of the cost incurred in service cost center one mean that at the end of the day we are going to be left with 80 percent okay so that is 80 percent a so what we are saying is that a service cost center production center a is going to have 30 percent that is let me just uh, write that here a is going to have 30 percent 30%, okay, 30% of the cost. So, what's wrong? Okay, so 30%, 30% of the cost, and B would have 50% um, of the cost of service sales cost center one, okay? So, we have already the many twenty percent has been uh, allocated to service cost center two. Mean that we are going to be having uh, three ratio five left. That is thirty ratio fifty left. Okay, thirty ratio fifty, which we are going to apportion. Okay, which is also the same as three ratio five, which is goes to eight. That is eight. Okay. Eight okay, so that is three plus five plus five equals to eight. Okay, so at the end of the day, 
we have 30 over 80. Okay, you can either say 30 over 80 for service call center 1 and portion to A. That is A for A to A share of service call center 1 now will be 30 over 80, not over 100, please. Over 100 because the remaining 20% has already been, be been apportioned to service call center 1. And what we're doing is that we are reapportioning, okay? We are reapportioning all the total cost that we that we have incurred in service call center one now to the various production call centers. Okay, so that will be thirty over eight times thirty times. So what is this cost to service call center one, which is three zero nine times three zero nine? Okay, three zero nine. Then for B, for B production center B. Okay, we are going to be having fifty all over 80 times 309 okay so so let's have the figure so let's have the figure that's um, 30 times 309 30 times 309 divided by 80 for a 30 times 309 divided by 80 80 so that is 115.875 so as soon as approximate that will be 116 116 okay that will be 116 for a then for b 50 times 309 309 divided by 80 80 okay we're going to be left with 193.125 that is B will now receive 193, approximately 193, okay? So let us confirm this. If you look at the cost that we have shared, we are sharing 309, okay? So let us now add this figure that we brought in, 116 plus 193 to confirm, okay? At the end of the day, 903. Mean that we have shared this cost with A and B. Please do not make mistake of using 100% because 100% has been used already. Um, this is just a correction of uh, some assumptions, okay? Based on um, uh, uh, what was treated in class. So let us move on. This is just an explanation so that you understand better, okay? So uh, for service call center two now, we want to now apportion this service call center two cost to A and B. So for A, so we are told in the question that A is going to receive share 40% of the cost and B is going to share 30% of the cost. So we know that uh, A was, we are told we share 40%, B 30% and service call center one has already been allocated, been apportioned the remaining 30%, okay? So we are left towards four ratio three. That is, we are left to a portion. Let me find somewhere to write that, okay? So we are left to a portion, uh, we are left to a portion 40 ratio 3, that is 40 to A and 30 to B, which is going to give us 70, okay? That is 40 plus 30 and 70. So A now would have, what we have, um, we have 40 all over 70 times what is the total cost attributed to service call center 2, after we have already apportioned a part of service call center 1 to it, we are left with 363, okay, 363, 363, okay, equals, so B is going to receive 30%, okay, well, 30, we are left with 70, that will be 30 over 70, times 363, okay, so what's the figure, so let's add the figure, that is 40, multiplied by 363 divided by 70. So we are going to be left with 207, okay? 207 approximately. So A is going to have a share of 207, 207, and B is going to have 30, 30 multiplied by 363 divided by 70, divided by 70. So we're going to be left with 156, okay? That's 156. 156, okay? So let's approximate that. That will be 156. 
six, okay? So um, let's confirm this too if we are going to be having 360, okay? When we had 207 plus 156, that's 13, 6, and 3, which is similar to this, mean that we are okay. So let us go ahead now and um, confirm the total cost, okay? Now, uh, the total cost, uh, sorry for the uh, way this was drawn or written, so let us, we know that, let us assume, okay, let us put the line here. We're going to add, please ensure that whenever you are preparing your work, let it be neat, let it be uh, straight so that you can add up the total cost for production center A and production center B. So when you had 5,000 or 5 million plus 116,000, and plus 207, that's for A. So 5,000 plus 116, 5,000 plus 116 plus 207, 207. That will give us five, that's gonna give us 5, 3, 2, 3. So that will be five. Three, two, three. Okay, the network is bad. So let me try to pause that. Okay. So uh, we had five thousand or five million, as we can see, plus one one six plus two zero three. Then for um, B two five plus one nine three plus one nine three plus 156 plus 156 so we're going to be having 2849 so we look for the total here dash this is 116 dash this is 119 here total and this is uh, 207 207 and this is uh, the, this is one five six okay. So when we add up all these figures, we can get total. So this is seven five five hundred plus one one six plus one one nine plus two zero seven plus one five six. Okay, we have uh, Okay, seven five hundred one six. Sorry, one nine three. It should be one nine three, not one one nine. It should be one nine three. One nine three. Okay, so let's do that again. Seven five hundred plus one one six plus one nine three plus two zero seven plus one five six. We have eight one seven two k. Okay? Eight one seven two. Eight one seven two. So we have eight one seven two. When we had five three two three five, let's put, let's confirm that five three two three plus two eight four nine. So to give us eight one seven two. Okay, so we are true. So the total cost to both the production department after apportionment is um. Uh, 8172. Now let us go back and do a recap of what we've done in the previous video in the next one or two minutes. With what we have now. Now look at what we have here in the previous uh when we started. Okay. Uh we're told that um the cost associated with the service cost center one should be allocated uh portion in the ratio 30, ratio 50, ratio 20. Okay, as you can see here, okay, meaning that 30% should go to A. 50% should go to B and 20% should go to service cost center um, 2, okay? And 40% um, should go to, for service cost center 2, 40% should go to A, 30 to go to A, B, and 30 to go to 1, service cost center 1. Meaning that both service cost centers 1 and 2 also share the cost belonging to the individuals, okay? So at the end of the day, when we get the total cost by using the simultaneous equation method, we have to reapportion back based on these two ratios. Okay, 30 ratio 50 for A and B for service cost center 1 and 40 ratio 30 to service cost center 2. So in the next video, we're going to look at how to prepare the continuous method 
or the repetitive distribution method.